and stuff. Long de technology definitely makes long distance relationships easier. They, it doesn't make them last. They don't last ever, okay. but it makes it easier. Right, right. As right. opposed to writing letters. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah, because I mean, what back in the day you had to write a letter, and you wow, yeah, you have a lot of time to admit. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. But you don't think it makes it makes them last any more or less? eHarmony account for I wrote an article about how much uh, eHarmony and sites like those make up of uh, marriages and they last they last longer the ones that are you know started on those websites. Mm. I mean, eventually, eventually the SO has to move to where the other SO is. Right. Like you can't just stay e-lovers, but right. But look at all the demographic of that website. It's looking for a specific type of person. Anyone that's going on Mastercom and eHarmony is sincerely looking to spend time with somebody and have a, like, they're looking for something specific. Right. If they wanted though, to just right? get a nut off, they can just go on Facebook or they can just go on Instagram or they can go on POF, like their site's designated for, look at Grindr. Grinders are very big application on an iPhone for gay men and it's just for gay men who want to fuck. No one's going to find a relationship on Grindr. If anybody, if any gay guy goes on Grindr they're looking for a relationship, they're an idiot. The name Grinder in itself, but look at the name like eHarmony, look at the platform of the website, look at the questions it's asking you. Or on Grinder, it's just asking you specifics. What do you look like? What do you want? What are you seeking for? For how long? You know what I mean? Mm 